In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more as far as packages are concerned, and also just to clarify the difference between packages and packaging. Let's start with packages. If you've done any basic work as far as starting to put together a game in Unity, you've actually already started to work with packages, more specifically under the window drop-down menu under the Package Manager. In the Package Manager, we often click on the drop-down here to go to My Assets, and we're able to access items that we added to our account from the Unity Assets Store. If you ever get to the point that you are looking to add and create your own content and share it through the Unity Store, then you would be going through the packaging process so that it can be downloaded and all elements that would make your packages run correctly, such as scripts, animations, audio, etc., are all stored simultaneously and downloaded correctly. So this is just one form of packaging. Also too, this gives you information as far as what is downloaded, what isn't, and also you can actually see here, for example, for the adventure sample game that I have here, you can actually choose to update it. So this is a really nice option whenever you're working with the different options here. It's a great way to track, but also too, it's a great way to be able to keep tabs on what is keeping up with the game engine and which packages maybe have fallen to the wayside as far as assets are concerned. However, one thing that we often skip over is specifically the two first options, the Unity Registry and In Project. Just to give you an overview here, depending on the type of game that you choose to generate as far as your base file, the Package Manager can help you with the Unity Registry. In the Registry, not only do you have the core package elements to make your game function, which are also seen and stored here under Projects in the Packages folder, but also too, you have several options that if you want to take your game further and you're looking for specific elements, they can be installed and added to your game. For example here, I have the analytics selected. Right now you can not only review the documentation and the change log, but I could even go so far as installing it to this game. So if I am looking to collect information about how my user is using the game and then be able to turn around and look at as far as the data is concerned, I might choose to include the analytics on this game. These packages in the Unity Registry, while you do have the cores, are all able to be added to your game. Now, just because you can add them though, that doesn't mean that you should add all of them. And again, when you do add these, just so you're aware, it will be added only to the specific game. The Package Manager in the Unity Registry, it is a means that whenever you would open, say, on another version of the Unity platform or on a different computer, it's going to include a note that, hey, maybe you have netcode installed. So that new copy in the new Unity will go ahead and update accordingly as far as your game is concerned. Now there's one other side to this as well, more specifically in the project. Right now, these are the core defaults as far as a 2D game. In every 2D game that you generate using Unity, it is going to have these packages ready to go. Now, as you can see, I've got some up arrows denoting to me that, hey, these could be updated if you want to. It is up to you. Again, this is now getting more into the heavy lifting of Unity where you might want to view the documentation and the changelog to see if the updates are really worth doing. Just because you can update to the latest and greatest doesn't mean you always should. So if it's working and it's not having any effect on your game as far as its playability and you're not getting any random errors, I would leave it as is. However, it's important to be aware of all of these packages that go into the back end of your game. This is why whenever we're moving a game around or we're working on a game, we can't just come in, for instance, under Assets and go to the Scene folder and just grab the scene files. All of these are latched into packages, and that is what is giving us the functionality that we have whenever we're clicking and dragging and interacting with the Unity UI. So, in closing, that's one of the main reasons for this video, is understand that the packages are assets.
assets and elements that can be installed or removed or updated to help add to or make your game function. When we talk about packaging on the flip side, that's the process of actually publishing your game and preparing it to be shared with other people. 